for that. And I feel bad. I feel really bad about that. That's why I switched sides and produced these videos that teach how not to get busted for pot. And then we started doing cop busters, and that's cop busters with the K. You got a lot of courage because I told you a year ago when you were in there, I said, buddy, get ready. They're coming down on you with both feet. You they did, did, Alex. And, uh, and they did. And they did. And we, we and, and, and they will. Uh, um, I mean, I'm just telling you that they will tr try to kill you next. I mean, you, I mean, you know that. Yes. So this is big business. You're not going to cut into that. Yes. You know, we've gotten, uh, did I already talk about the death threats and everything? Yeah. We talk about that. Well, I want to get Bob Chapman's final comments and then shift into other areas, and we'll monitor this as it unfolds. But people should go to your site. They should watch the videos, research it for themselves, and we should also pray for the evil hearts of police that, 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 that think of us as non-humans. I mean, I've had police over and over again try to frame me for violence. I have the national media doing it right now. I've I've showed a clip earlier where the military is trying to frame my my camera guys as terrorists. Oh, you're definitely on the radar. I'm surprised you haven't been raided. I'm not sure how you've kept that. Well, yeah. they understand that we have extremely clean noses here and I have I've sued government before and others. And so they realize that we're a big target. And so uh but I'm sure it unfortunately is is in the works and I've been told. But see, I I'm not my dad always explained to me. He said and then years after, I kind of saw a similar thing at the end of Carlito's way. It's not the high-level gangsters that kill Carlito. It's the low-level thugs. My dad, when I first started getting into this, he said, listen, I've studied a lot of history. He said, you can go after Bill Clinton. You can go after big, powerful politicians. You can do that. He said that when you go after boss hogs, they will kill you. Oh, because they boss hogs you can beat. The big bankers pretty much don't care. It's these boss hogs that are that are dangerous. Well, see, I thought the opposite. We thought we were safe just setting stings up for local police because that's what the local people need. No, that's the most dangerous. We realize that now. The, the, I mean, and, and that's just our son. I mean, if you're a cop trying to investigate Oklahoma City being an inside job, and they killed a bunch of cops up in Oklahoma, tortured them to death. I mean, uh, they don't play games. I mean, the, 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 this is a $500 billion a year industry of narcotics trafficking. And as long as the mainline Christians are asleep and sucking their thumbs, the, the, the scam can continue. Well, fortunately, you know, Hollywood's caught on, and we signed a movie deal with... Yeah, tell folks the positive news. you got an NPR special, HBO, TV. Tell folks. Yeah, uh, we signed a deal not too long ago with Brett Ratner, the Hollywood giant, who did Prison Break and X-Men and Rush Hours, and they want to do a movie uh, uh, in the theaters about our lives. And April 8th or 9th? Uh, April 9th. April 9th, uh, NPR uh, story will air this about American Life. It's called This American That's one of their biggest shows. Yeah. Right. About four million... Yeah, yeah, that'll help. But we were just as excited to be on your show, Alex. Yeah. Thanks for reaching out to us because we are just a single family. We're not a big organization. We don't even have any full-time employees. We've done all of this as just activists as a family on our own. Well, that's the key. We need more people to do what you've done until there's too many patriots standing up for them to stop us. Exactly. They, they, and that's one reason they haven't come after me physically yet. Well, they beat me up once and I get threats and threats on my family. I mean, a lot of stuff's happened is because we're an idea, and ideas are bulletproof, and we have gotten millions of people to take action, and they know if they kill me, it will just make everything I've done that much more evergreen. Exactly. Well, still be careful out there, because they got Martin Luther King. and Well, I don't think I'm to that level. So, <laughs> Well, you know, he did some great things for his time, and I'm so thankful. He's one of my heroes. Uh, but uh, this is 2010, and you've certainly carried it to another level. Yeah. Well, guys, give the website out again. NeverGetBusted.com. Please go there and help us out. Uh, we've got a donate button there for our legal fees. And uh, I asked you about this, the uh, Texas Rangers, and, and they won't investigate this. Texas Rangers announced they won't investigate the Liberty Hill sting, which is not a surprise to me because I have a private clip on YouTube ready to roll where I actually filmed a phone conversation between me and them where they said this, we'll just come to Austin and kick your ass. And I've got that on film. They did that over the Yolanda Madden case where we stung the cops in Odessa on a false raid that resulted in Yolanda being released from prison after being there for four years. She's out of prison now. There Barry, do you remember me telling you to make copies of all your stuff? They didn't seize everything you had, did they? Pretty, all, all your videos? Pretty close, but we've got some backup. Well, you've now got to put that, that Texas Ranger clip out. And I actually didn't keep... Uh, keep our videos on site we always kept them somewhere else but i had them in the house because that hbo film crew needed them yeah. and i forgot to return them back to their hiding spots well there's no doubt they were listening to your phones possibly they're listening right now what do you want to say to them 
Well, I want to tell them how cruel and evil they are, that this is cruelty uh, like no other. When you start touching people's families, and, and I know you know you're not right, uh, stop it, because we're not going to stop exposing corruption. And uh, how dare you come into my home on a misdemeanor pointing guns at my family. If you were civilians and did that, you would have been charged with home invasion, burglary, theft, because you took all of our stuff and you did all that for a misdemeanor that I didn't even commit. And that's why uh, we've got a $40 million lawsuit coming in your direction, and we're going to get our son back. Uh, I'll die. I, I'm a nonviolent. But I will do everything in my power legally to get our son back. So, Zach, we're coming to get you, babe. Right, Candy? And by saying you'll die, you're ready for him to kill you. You're ready to go all the way. Well, well I'll, I'll use a real Texas Ranger quote from their founder. A man in the wrong can't stand up against a man who's in the right and keeps on it coming. Thank you. Guys, good having you in. Hey, Alex, appreciate yeah. it. God bless you. Yes, sir, thanks. All right, guys, we'll continue to watch this case with Barry and Candy Cooper. Pray for them, folks.